Hey, yo, a 0-5 and five start to Kayla Clark's season is not what I think a lot of people vision for her. Look, bitch, I'm going to need your motherfucking ass to take control of this goddamn team. I need you to be putting up 30 goddamn points a game if you're trying to keep me entertained. Are you not entertained? Nope. Hey yo, what up, it's your boy Chocolate with the Sexy Body, and we back with another reaction video for your girl, Kayla Clark, and fuck it, the whole WNBA, the NBA, there's some shit going on outside of the, the NBA with some track and field, I know y'all heard about it, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but let's go ahead and get into your girl, Kayla Clark, that's what you're here for, that's what you're here for, them, they almost, they almost did it, they almost did it, I was right there, I was watching it again, motherfuckers was this goddamn close to winning the motherfucking game, and Kayla God damn it, you turned the goddamn ball over at the end. But anyway, y'all shouldn't even been in that motherfucking predicament because I told y'all this goddamn coach over there is fucking up. Somebody asked me, they was like, how do you think they was going to get enough space for Kaitlyn to come in and shoot a three? That last game that they played against the Suns where they fucking lost, where they only lost by a goddamn two points, right? She could have got the fucking ball. Three-pointer. Same situation this game, but she turned the ball over. But before all that shit, the coach had her on a goddamn bench in the fucking fourth quarter with three minutes on the clock. Why is your goddamn leading scorer on the fucking bench? You see, this is the kind of shit that make everybody look bad because they played great. They played great, guys. I wish I would have saw that game. It was back and forth, back and forth. But boy, boy, the motherfucking storm motherfuckers got a, a, a bitch over there named Lloyd, Jew Lloyd. That bitch dropped. 30 on the motherfucking boys, like, uh, 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 bah, 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 bah. no turnovers, no turnovers. See, I try to tell y'all, I was talking to somebody named Mischievous or something like that. I can't even fucking remember. I'm going to put this shit somewhere around here. I was talking to them yesterday and I was trying to explain to them that the reason why I'm watching the, the fucking sport right now is because of Kaylin and she's got, no, no, people are watching because of Angel. No. No, they are not. They are watching this shit because of Caitlyn. And if you look at the goddamn comments, you will see all the people that tell you, I'm watching this shit because of Caitlyn because there was nothing else to keep us interested. And if this motherfucker don't get out there and start dropping 30 motherfucking points on their ass like she was doing in college, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> and a lot of people going to be very upset. And thank you for all the people that, that clarified this for me because I was way the fuck off talking about that, their game in Iowa and how... Uh, she was the fucking scorer and nobody was doing anything. Them bitches was putting up 92 points a game. They were the leading scorers in the whole fucking college basketball shits. That's why the motherfuckers are so good at made it to where they are. Look, now you really got to give this bitch her props. Because not only was she fucking good, she was the best on the fucking team that's putting up 92 points. They put up more points than everybody in that motherfucker, even South Carolina, the bitches that won last year. So please... I just really want to know why this motherfucking hate has to keep coming at this girl. I don't know why it has to keep coming. They double teaming in this bitch every time she get the ball. They try to make a point. They try to prove a point. Bitch, fuck that. So you know what I need the coach to do? I need the coach to go to Kaylin and say, you know what? They fucking with you. I need to talk just like this. None of that bullshit uh, being all ethical or whatever, you know, on PC. No, fuck. Go to Kaylin. Pull that bitch aside and go to Kaylin. I need you to get on your shit. Fuck it. The rings is off. I need you to go to work. Go do what you did when you was at Iowa. And Caitlin need to go, all right, bitch, if that's what you need me to do, I need you to do this for me with this fucking team. And then we can rock and roll. Because I'm ready to see this bitch unleash. Because I, like I said, it's drawing me into everybody else that's playing the game. I would have knew nothing about no Jewel Boy. And if you watched my first video, I was telling y'all about Skylar Diggins. And most men would realize the sport of basketball went bad ball because of Skylar Diggins. Because she was cute, right? Well, she was on that fucking team. And her ass is trash. That bitch was one for ten shooting. I think she had two, two goddamn points. Yo ass done been in the motherfucking league for two goddamn long to be playing like that. You see, if that... There is a person in a WNBA that we all once knew, right? That when she was in college, I, I didn't know her because of a game. I knew her because she was bad. Let's keep it real. But we knew her. And if her ass is in the WNBA right now, only putting up fucking two points on that level in the game where you play damn near 30 fucking minutes. Somebody explain this shit for me. 
Because now we're starting to get into the motherfucking root of all this shit and why people wasn't watching this shit. Because they not as good as people kept saying that they was. They getting better now. They getting a whole lot better now. And they got a great class of motherfuckers coming into this bitch. They got a great class. So all you fucking old heads that don't, that, that keep bitching and complaining, talking about these new bitches, you need to let them bitches come in there and do their goddamn thing. Because as far as I am concerned, y'all didn't fucking do nothing. Look, this motherfucking game, right, had 19,000 motherfuckers at it. 19,000. They showed the stands. Them bitches was packed. 19,000. That is the most fans that that team has had in four years. Four years, and in all of their life, they have only sold out two games. And did you know that the second one was this one? <laughs> Seriously, you can't tell me it ain't because of CC. Bitches is showing up because of CC. Niggas is getting shit because of CC. This bitch just signed a motherfucking deal with Wilson. With Wilson, she's the first female basketball player to sign a deal with Wilson with all the motherfuckers that was bought for her. I, you could kiss my ass if you think they really trying to motherfucking push this bitch out there like that. They didn't have nobody to fucking push like that. They didn't have nobody. Keep, keep on fucking saying that shit that these bitches was like that. No, they wasn't. They wasn't. They was mediocre at best. They was the best women. That's all that shit was. They were the best women. Now you got some motherfuckers coming up in there doing some things that these hoes ain't never seen before. And they ain't ready for none of that. They not. Bitch, get your popcorn. Bitch, get your popcorn. Because these, these motherfuckers is here. And it's only going to get better. But goddamn it, coat sides. Goddamn it, coat sides. I'm, I'm saying. You're going to have to let that bitch go to work. You're going to have to. You're going to have to stop motherfucking trying to coddle her ass, man. You're going to have to let her go. Where the fuck you came from, because you wasn't a head coach before the show. I think you was an assistant coach on a couple of the motherfucking teams, and you didn't do good. You didn't do too good as a fucking assistant coach because the teams you was on didn't do good. And now your ass is a head coach. Now you're a head coach. I need you to make this shit work. I need you to make this shit work. Because Kaylin, like I said, she's bringing attention to the fucking game. The bitch got deals with Nike, State Farm. What else? What else do y'all want to hear? It's her. But don't get it twisted, though, because I got to mention shit like this. Angel Reese. Since motherfuckers probably be thinking I'm hating on her because she's black and I don't really talk about her. Because that's some ignorant shit. If she was really fucking good, I'd be talking about her. But I don't see her ass enough to talk about her. And I didn't fucking see her ass in college. But I do be, I think I did see some highlights. And the bitch was balling. I, I said it. I think it was a preseason game. She was balling. She did a motherfucking thing. Right? So I need the motherfuckers to keep on doing that thing on and off the court. Because this motherfucker just locked up a deal where she's a part owner of the motherfucking soccer team. Of a motherfucking soccer team. DC Power football team. This bitch is a part owner in that shit. They finna get their money. They finna, they finna get their money. Now, I know it's a whole lot of motherfucking men out there pissed off that these hoes is getting paid like how they getting paid. I, I swear it is. They don't want to see it happen, but it's happening, right? And people like LeBron James paved the way for them in this entrepreneur shit. LeBron James, the first motherfucking billionaire to still be playing the sport, right? To still be playing the sport. Only other motherfucker like that was Tiger Woods. LeBron James and did it on all fucking levels. Somebody please get that fucking man his roses. Bro, they never, listen. They never gonna call you the best, LeBron. They never gonna call you the GOAT because you'll forever be in the shadow of Michael Jordan because he has six rings. Period. Six rings. You don't get six rings, you're not better than Jordan. You can do whatever the fuck you've done on all these teams. It doesn't fucking matter. I, 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 know, I understand people are like, well, he went and put together super teams. I don't give a fuck. They still won. He put, a get, put together a team and they still won. How many teams has KD put together and none of them bitches have won? Think about it. 
You take LeBron James and put him on any of those other motherfucking teams that your favorite superstar on. You put him over there and go to state. They still going to win. You put him over there with motherfucking OKC. They going to win. You put him over there with motherfucking Brooklyn and all the bitches and they healthy. You put him anywhere you could put KD that he, where he didn't win, this bitch is going to go win. He's going to go win. And now he's just getting old in the tooth. And outside of being old in the tooth, but fuck all that older too. This motherfucker still average. He was averaging the most motherfucking minutes. The most goddamn minutes. This old motherfucker doing his goddamn thing. Fuck, it's the bitches around him. It's the soft ass bitches that they keep putting around him. That's the fucking reason why. I know you flop a lot, LeBron, but goddamn, I know you tough as shit too. You tough as shit too. And if ain't nobody else gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. You're fucking ignorant and shit, too, to think your motherfucking son going to be able to go to the fucking NBA right now. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, what about the other, the, the, the Coupo brothers? What about them? I know my son's way better than them. Motherfucker, nobody has a body of work. To, to Your son don't have a body of work. He don't have a resume. He averaged five points for USC. He played 25 fucking games. He started in six. And this man averaged five points. Like, like four rebounds, some shit like that. Some five assists. Four. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but it's not enough to go to the fucking league. You mean to tell me you would take somebody that went to, went to give him all that game, give him all 32, motherfucker play all 32 games, and he averaged what the fuck LeBron James' son averaged. Do you think they gonna fucking pick him at any point in the NBA draft? That motherfucker's not even going to be a free agent. He's going to be like Leangelo Ball. In fact, I think Leangelo Ball might be better than LeBron James' son. Hot take. Take the shit home with you. Put it in your pocket. When you get there, eat it. But I'm, I'm for real. I think he's better than fucking LeBron James' son. I don't want his shit about LeBron James' son having a bad gear because he had a heart injury. Listen. If that fucking heart injury was that severe, I don't want myself playing in the fucking NBA right now. I need your ass to go through another year of college so I can see if you're going to survive. This ain't about fucking money because the motherfucker was making $5.9 million in NIL. It doesn't fucking matter. It's, this is not about money. This is about LeBron James flexing his motherfucking GM hat shit, trying to get his goddamn son. You ain't fucking ready. And then his son up there want to change his name and shit. The fuck you won't change your goddamn name for? You still motherfucking LeBron James' son, bitch. You ain't changed who you are. We can look at you. That's LeBron James' son. <laughs> the fuck? It doesn't matter. You're going to forever be in this goddamn shadow. You know what you could have done to, to pave your own way? Stay your motherfucking ass in school because your daddy didn't do that. How about you go win a national championship because your daddy didn't do that? That's how you be better than him. Because what the fuck is going to happen to you right now is the same thing that happened to Michael Jordan kids. Look, you have y'all, do y'all realize this? The reason why super duper stars like Jordan and them, they kids aren't successful in, in basketball? Because they didn't have to fucking struggle as much as their parents did. Jordan got cut from his goddamn high school football. Uh, football. I'm on it this morning. Jordan got caught. Caught. Jordan got cut by his high school basketball team. He got cut. He went and worked his ass off and came back. Y'all see the LeBron story. That bitch is everywhere. He run around with his partners. This bitch was going to goddamn state championships. He going to AAU championships. He was playing since he was fucking yee high. But check it out. He didn't have no fucking daddy. He didn't have no father. He just had his mama. So this nigga had to get it done. He had to get it done. Adversity, guys. What fucking adversity does LeBron James' son have? Coming back from this fucking heart shit? Because right now, if that's what you want to put, put this on, motherfucker, your stats and everything say that you ain't ready. You ain't ready. And you know what, LeBron James? You got some whole-ass friends. Because ain't no goddamn way in hell I'm going to sit there and be like, yo, I think Brownie's ready. Fuck no. You got Kendrick Perkins motherfucking ass on my. I think Braun is ready. Yo, mother, no, he's not fucking ready. You got Stephen A. Oh, I'm so disappointed in Stephen A. This motherfucker had the nerve to say that he ain't never seen LeBron James' son play basketball. Somebody go find that goddamn clip. This man said he's never seen LeBron James' son play basketball. You are a lying motherfucker. You have to see that bitch at some point in time in your life. Some point in time. He was on TV. 
Get the fuck out of here. LeBron, look, look. Stephen A on that bullshit again. Stephen A on that bullshit where he know, look, Stephen A know that if he say something outlandish, all right, outside the lines about LeBron James, he ain't about to get no more interviews with him. I'm not about to fuck with you, Stephen A, because you're on that bullshit. You ever notice that? That's why he don't never say nothing crazy, really crazy about LeBron. Not like how he say about KD or how he, he say about Kyrie. You feel me? And speaking of Kyrie, the motherfucker went off last night. Look, Anthony, look, Ant-Man, I said it. You're supposed to be the new face, but you cannot poke the bear like that if you ain't going to be able to back up that goddamn talk. And you fucked up in the game for getting in that damn press conference and saying that your motherfucking ass is tired. Nigga, you're 22. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I hate fucking excuses. I fucking hate them. Because the next game, when you fucking go out there and ball out, what you gonna say? What you gonna attribute to that? Well, I got enough rest to, to make sure I can... Man, shut the fuck up, bro. Since, since I saw your motherfucking ass, since I saw you, you have been the guy that's like, nah, fuck that shit. We finna make this happen. We finna make it happen. We finna send this shit to game seven. Fuck you mean? That's how, that's how he is. And now you wanna get up there and say you was fucking tired? Bitch, fuck that. Go, get your, go, go, go drink some egg Gatorade. Go drink some motherfucking Gatorade if you're so goddamn tired. Ask the coach to put you on the bitch, take a break. Fuck all that, bro. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Because before all that, you look mighty fine to me. Whoa, why the fuck up? But what I feel like it is, is if your motherfucking ass was tired, what you going to do for this next game so you don't be tired? Because you picked this, you picked this fucking assignment to guard Kyrie. Do you understand this motherfucker? Kyrie is like the Energizer Bunny. He's going to be going all around that court. I think you motherfuckers forgot about Kyrie. I think y'all forgot about him because of all that bullshit he was tied up in with the COVID shit, which the NBA needs to fucking write an apology letter to this bitch. Matt, no, fuck up. They need to get on TV and apologize to Kyrie for all the bullshit. Stephen A too. Stephen A. Because this is the, the bullshit that I had a problem with with Stephen A. Wanting Kyrie to play basketball. When this man said... It is against my religion to take that motherfucking shot. The Stephen A over there like, nah, fuck that shit. You got to go to work. You got to go to work. This your job. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck all that, bro. What did the state of New York say? The state of New York was like, you wasn't mandated to take that fucking shot. It wasn't. That's why nobody took the motherfucker. And then all of a sudden, it's like, well, you got to take it if you want to come in here. Yeah, they, they picking on him. They was picking on him. Because of his personality and his beliefs. They was picking on him right in front of our eyes, guys. They was picking on that man right in front of his eyes and it wasn't shit he can do about it. Took his pay. Now, the minute that you say something about them ooze over there, your motherfucking ass is in trouble. They defend their own. Why don't we defend our own like that? Had hey, Kyrie going through that bullshit. A motherfucker like Stephen A should have been on that bitch like, hey, I commend him for sticking to his morals. For real. Because a lot of people don't do that shit no more. A lot of people don't have morals and values. None of that shit. Look, morals and values have gone out the motherfucking window. And speaking about some fucking morals and values, look, I got to. I got to. This might be controversial, but if you fucking people listen to me and how I talk, I'm already controversial. <laughs> but a a a Aiden Gallagher, we're going to need you to come to the, to the stand, bro. We're going to need you to come. To the, out, the, out the pulpit to the congregation so we can have a conversation with you, brother. Um, I mean, uh, ma'am, uh, if y'all haven't heard, and let me let me give you a disclaimer. No offense to the LBGTQA plus community. I am an ally. I do not understand why you guys make the choices that you do, but that doesn't mean that y'all are not or shouldn't be allowed to the same rights and privileges of every other human being on this planet because you guys are human beings. And I, I respect the shit out of you because it takes a lot of motherfucking courage to do the shit that y'all do. People already have an issue with anybody knowing anything about them. And hats off to it, seriously. But, but as a father, I have a son. <laughs> As a father, and I, I always wanted a little girl. As a father, you're not going to tell me that a little boy can change himself or trans, transgender, transform, however you want to say it. I don't, I'm fucking off. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. But you can't tell me that he can go do that. And now he can call himself a female and run against the girls in a track meet and beat them bitches. You're not about to fuck. No. 
Hell no. Hell no, motherfucker. No, bro. You really want to know how I really feel? Yeah. Let them agree. women have their glory, man. Yeah. We let that shit go down in five, ten years. They're going to have kids raising their churn to be big, strong motherfuckers, then turn into women and take over the sport and get million dollar contracts. Watch. I feel like it's fucking cheating. This is an unfair advantage. Say what you want, but you not about to take no motherfucking female and transform them into a male and see them be able to compete on no fucking level of any sport. None. It is not going to happen. But you want to tell me that I can change my gender and go perform in the female athletics and I'm beating their motherfucking ass? Look, on a bad hamstring, a bitch on our team ran 11-2 when I was in school. 11-2. On a bad hamstring, I still beat that bitch. So what I'm telling y'all is, <laughs> what I'm telling y'all is, there is an unfair advantage in this shit. And I don't give a fuck what kind of hormone or what the fuck you think you take because inside of us, this shit is already created. Men already have estrogen in them. When we have an excess, a excess of it, we start to grow the man boobs. That's all it's going to do. Make us talk feminine. But that ain't going to take away none of our motherfucking strength. I don't give a fuck who you talk to. That's the thing. It's not taking away any of our strength. It's just making us look more feminine. Duh. And I ain't going out there fucking them up. Come on, bro. Nah, we. Something's got to stop. It's like something had to stop. Like if, if that's what, what these individuals want to do, why don't y'all create their own league? Why don't you create their own league for them? Because ain't no bitches finna go to the NBA and think they finna go in there and shine. You're going to be at the back of the bench. Take your very best WNBA player and put them in the NBA right now. What team they finna play for? Whose spot they finna take? I know y'all saw that goddamn video with, uh, what's the, 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 the chick that was got trapped in Russia? Brittany, with Brittany Griner? I know y'all seen that fucking video with her and Cousins, and she's talking about she'll beat him in a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. Look, I admire the fucking confidence, but that shit is just really fucking ignorance, right? It's ignorance. Because I'll be truthful. If I know I, I, I know I can't beat that motherfucker, hey, bro, I'm going to give you a fucking game. I'm going to give you a game, bro. That's what she should have been saying. I, I could give you a game. Not you finna win. Not, that's not confidence, girl. What the fuck you talking about? You are not finna be no goddamn DeMarcus Cousins. Bitch, I will go to my bank account and drain that hole dry and put all my money on Cousins. Nigga, I will put my house up. A second, I'll take a second mortgage out of my fucking house and put it all on Cousins. Your ass might not score a basket. If he get aggressive and be like, fuck this shit, girl, come get the fuck out. See, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. You keep talking stupid like how Brittany Griner is and you go see all these men just go, go down there and fucking join y'all sport and dominate. But I thought y'all could win. <laughs> I thought you could beat the man. Now you got to actually beat this motherfucker. Hey, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> be, be the fuck careful what you ask for because you end up with some shit like this. All right, look, that's my time. That's, that's my time. I'm about to get off this thing. We're running into the 20-minute mark. Uh, guys, Caitlin Clark, 0 and 5. Look, let that motherfucker go. Take the leash off of her. Take the motherfucking chains off her and let her go to work. And everybody out there that's really fucking mad at her and about the shit that she's getting, beat her. That's all I can say. Fucking go beat her. All these, no, beat her. One-on-one -on -one matches. When it's your time to play against this bitch, make sure you dominate. Make sure that hold on score no points. Because she's still scoring. She scored 20 again. She is the seventh leading scorer in the WNBA. Her. And that bitch could be the leading scorer if the coach would just let her go to work like she know how she can. Y'all guys, that's my time. Y'all take care. Please, everybody, all, all the people, the comments, everything. I like it. I love it. Keep on coming up in here. We can continue to keep talking. I appreciate y'all boys coming in here, rocking with me. Thank y'all so much. If you are not a part of the crew, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos. I'm out of here. Peace.